Now, Kenya's plans to purchase aircraft and other military equipment from the United States are still on course, according to U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Robert Godek. But there is no signed agreement just yet. In a statement released today, Ambassador Godek said, quote, the U.S. government is currently working with the government of Kenya on the purchase of aircraft to strengthen the Kenya Defense Forces in their fight against al-Shabaab, end quote. Now, if concluded, the Kenyan government would purchase not just aircraft, but training, spare parts, ammunition, and weapons systems. The deal that is currently valued at $418 million is still awaiting approval of the U.S. Congress, after which the Kenyan Ministry of Defense is to receive an itemized document of the purchase and negotiate a final price and delivery time. Now, Ambassador Godek clarified that, quote, contrary to some allegations in the media, the government of Kenya has not signed any agreement to purchase aircraft from the United States and the process underway is transparent, open and proper. End of quote. Now, earlier this week, a U.S. congressman sought to halt the pending weapons purchase, citing, quote, credible allegations of faulty contracting practices, fraud and unfair treatment surrounding this sale, he said. A bit earlier, the congressman Ted Budd on Tuesday urged his colleagues in the Congress to block and investigate the deal and said a company in his home state of North Carolina would sell Kenya planes better suited for their envisioned purpose at less than half the quoted price. As of now, L3 Communications, a Texas-based company, has been contracted to provide the aircraft known as the Air Tractor AT-802L. Uh, prior to this pending deal, the United States has provided over $150 million in equipment and assistance to the Kenyan military in the past year alone. Larry.